typically the way these atomizers work is you would pass the fluid through the center channel and you would pass the air through the annulus but I have went against convention on that design and have been pumping oil through the uh, the center spear so or no I'm sorry I've been pumping air through the center spear and oil through the annulus now the rig we've just set up is the opposite oil is going through the center channel and air is coming through the annulus so the air is going to blast out this way and when it does it creates this little shock cone looking deal I've looked at it in the sunlight and I'll try and show it to you but I don't think I have a high enough resolution camera what happens right here in the shock cone you can actually see this cone by the way there's a high vacuum in this little void that pulls the oil out of that spout it will self siphon but we are going to be using oil induction we're not going to use siphon induction is a little bit more controllable than siphon siphon requires very specific geometry to function properly you know what i'm saying you change a hose on that thing you've got a whole different beast so siphon is not the way to go it's very uncontrollable very unpredictable induction induction is about probably your best bet meaning it's pumped that's all i mean by induction um and essentially this is how commercial atomizers work for industrial processes they'll have a little center spear that you can adjust the position I have also done that by this little cylinder right here it has like nine o-rings in it so I've made a little cylinder I already have it tuned and the way you tune it is you pull it in and out and you observe the oil traveling up the line put it in siphon mode turn your air on high and then whatever position yields the fastest progress of that oil stream is your optimum setting and that's what we have here today However, these things are very touchy. Simply touching it with your finger will alter the manner it works in. So, they're very precise devices. It's not something you can just hop together like I have here. This thing's been thrown together in a massive hurry. And uh, as a result, its uh, performance is suffering. So I had to do a little bit of modification to it. Basically what's happening is this spear will want to do this. And it's very important that you have a concentric alignment in that zone for optimization. So for now, we're going to try this, but this is an extremely high flow tip. This is like a 200,000 kilowatt tip. This one here, the one that I showed you over there on the ground, is works best in the 30 to 50 or 30 to 60,000 kilowatt range. And I uh, calculate that by the oil consumption. But at any rate... We are also going to try a reverse flow on this. We're going to pump oil through the center spear and air through the annulus, which could possibly give us a smaller micron size because I'm under the impression that the observations made during the test shutdown of yesterday were a result of atomization optimization and not the convergent nozzle because I can't get this thing to reproduce those effects by modulating fuel flow. The only thing that will do it is during shutdown or when air is allowed into the line. So it has something to do with atomization performance and I'm gonna try and solve this problem here.
the sweet spot for these nozzles. And basically, right about where I got that drawing is an ideal place to have your oil nozzle. You'll have to find the spot like I showed you. You'll have to um, observe the oil flow at first. 